Solve by completing the square. x squared minus 12x plus 11 is equal to 0. So to solve by completing the square, we'll first rewrite it in the form x squared plus bx. So I'll subtract the 11 from both sides of the equation. x squared minus 12x, leave some space there, equals negative 11. Now I will complete the square. Take the 12, half it, square that. 12 divided by 2 is 6, squared is 36. I add 36 to both sides of the equation. The left-hand side factors as x minus 6 squared. The right-hand side would simplify to 25. Applying the square root property, I have x minus 6 is equal to the positive or negative square root of 25. So then x minus 6 is equal to positive or negative 5. Rewriting this as two equations. x minus 6 equals negative 5 x minus 6 equals positive 5. Adding 6 to both sides of each equation, I have x equals 1 and x equals 11. So the solutions of this equation are 1 and 11. Two m squared minus sixteen m equals four. I will divide both sides by two to put this in the form x squared plus b m equals k. So then m squared minus eight m, I'll leave a space there, is two. completing the square. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. I will add 16 to both sides of the equation. So left-hand side factors as m minus 4 squared. The right-hand side simplifies as 18. So then m minus 4 equals the positive or negative square root of 18. So then, now the square root of 18 is not a nice number. Hopefully you've learned somewhere in the past that you can break up that square root of 18 as a square root of 9 times the square root of 2, and so we could write that as 3 times the square root of 2. So then I have m minus 4 is equal to positive or negative 3 times the square root of 2. So then I have m minus 4 equals negative 3 times the square root of 2, and m minus 4 is equal to positive 3 times the square root of 2. Adding 4 to both sides, m equals 4 minus 3 times the square root of 2, and m equals 4 plus three times the square root of two. Do not try to combine the four and the negative three times the square root of three. They are not like radical terms and so they cannot be combined. Now often you will see this expressed as m equals four plus or minus three times the square root of two. Solve by completing the square. 4a squared plus 50 is equal to 20a. Let's get this, so we have to get this to that form that we've talked about. In this case, where you want, you know, we said x squared plus bx equals k. All right, so let's get it to a form that looks like this. I'm going to subtract 20a from both sides. and I'll also subtract 50 from both sides. So that would give me 4a squared minus 20a is equal to negative 50. Now I'll divide both sides by 4. So then a squared minus 5a is equal to, let's see, 4, 50 divided by 4 is negative 12.5.
complete the square. I would have to take the 5 divided by 2 and then square that. So 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. 2.5 squared is 6.25. So I need to add 6.25 to both sides. So let me rewrite this. I'd have a squared minus 5a. I'll leave that space. is negative 12.5. I have to add the 6.25 to both sides. So then the left-hand side would factor as a minus 2.5 squared, and the right-hand side is negative 6.25. Applying the square root property, I would have a minus 2.5 is equal to positive or negative square root of negative 6.25. And we're going to stop there because I see that I have the square root of a negative number. And so what that tells me is this equation has no real solutions. In a later chapter we'll see how to describe the solutions in terms of what is called the imaginary unit. But for now, we will stop and say that the equation has no real solutions.